Okay, peeps, here's a little upgrade on the 12 volt portable generator. All right, as you can see, I put in a battery disconnect switch. So I was upgrading the, I had a 150 amp cheesy little fuse thing there. I upgraded that, so I put a regular battery disconnect switch in. And over here, as you can see, safety first. Put this plastic over this, so you, if anybody comes in here, it doesn't hit. As you can see, it's on the negative side, the positive side over there, so nothing's going to cross over and hit that or whatever. So we'll lift this up here. I'll tuck this back. What you can see here, whoop, let me get it in there. Ugh, all right. I put in a 150 amp fuse directly off the battery because before I wasn't getting the 150 amps on that cheesy little eBay one. So you can see here, it's directly off the battery, it's a 150 amp fuse, and this line right here is what's going over to the disconnect. This line here in the back is the batteries that are crossing over. So it has a little B on it, so that's the line that crosses over from the other battery. Then it comes out and the 150 amp fuse to protect everything comes straight off of the battery now. It goes over to the disconnect. So that everything, I can actually get the power out of this thing. What are we doing right now? I am putting in 12.3 amps right now, about the middle of the afternoon. Batteries are up on voltage. So that shows you this little system actually is doing pretty dang good. 12.3 amps going into the batteries right now. And let's caution, caution. And here, this is my... 12 volt off grid system. This is a little piece of junk that I got from eBay. It's 150 amp, supposed to be 150 amp circuit breaker. Well, tested it out. This thing actually does maybe 40 to 50 amps and then it trips. Now it works, you know, you set it like that and you get up to about 45, 50 amps, bink, trips right out. So it, it will work, but when they say 150 amps, don't, you're not going to get 150 amps out of this thing. It's just, there's just no way. I thought, you know what, save a couple bucks, this will work. No. So, don't waste your time on that. You got to go get the good stuff. These ones here seem to work because they're only 30 amps. So, you know, I'm not putting that much in. And I think these ones here actually will do the job. They'll click over and shut off. But don't trust the other one. If you're going to do it, spend the money, get the battery disconnect. And then go get the bus fuses directly off the battery. That way you're straight off the battery. No matter what comes off of there, you're protected right there at 150 amps. And then, you see how many have so many terminals here. All I do is I just take this here, strap it on. And it goes over and then it covers it right up. And I also still have the magnetic strip on the side. But that way it'll protect it. And if you drop something, you know, from mitting the metal onto that to here, it's going to protect everything. All right, that's the update right now on the portable 12 volt system. That's probably the last upgrade I'll do on this thing. Okay, take it easy, folks.